one in NASCAR robot racing is your new favorite sport. Who else can't wait for level 5 autonomous vehicles to race at breakneck speeds through public streets? Just me? Roborace is a racing and development platform for autonomous race cars. It's essentially a set of guidelines and hardware specifications that companies can develop by four. According to the company, Roborace's open AI platform allows companies to develop their own driverless software and push the limits in an extreme and safe environment. The series is designed to be a competition of intelligence so all teams will use the same robo car to ensure all efforts will be focused on advancing the software for everyday road cars to adopt. You'll notice several different appearances, the devbot version of Robocar has a canopy that can house a human driver. This is for developmental purposes in order to obtain accurate comparisons. Plus it looks less like a Gillette Razor with its canopy if you ask us. NVIDIA is decidedly amped about Roborace. In the following video there's some talk of level 5 completely autonomous vehicles racing through populated city streets that might be a bit hyperbolic, but we'd still rather watch it than humans navigating an oval for 3 hours. NVIDIA's Pegasus platform and Tiger chips feature heavily in the badass racers showcased in Roborace. Thanks to its cutting-edge hardware and racing-grade intelligence. It's one of the most impressive uses of I we've seen. If humans can't beat the robots, they should join M. Robot racing doesn't have to be autonomous, in fact another company showing off racing robots at seas was Furian. Its mecha requires a human pilot and races at speeds more acceptable for people, 32 kph, 20 miles per hour. Roborace is here now, but we're hoping to see more of it in 2018. You can learn about the platform and autonomous racing here at its website. If you're more into Gundam-style future esports you can learn about Furian's efforts in mecha racing here.